Are you having issues of your steering wheel lock not engaging after your ride? Today we're going to be looking at the whole locking mechanism, how it works, and how we can resolve this issue. Stay tuned. What's up there YouTubers and fellow riders, the Kim is back at it again in the garage cooking up on the DIY for you. Today we're going to be looking at this cylinder lock right here and I'm experiencing an issue after doing a fork job where I had loosened uh, the center nut here uh, so that I could align my forks and I currently have a misalignment but uh, this is not always the cause of all the issues of this lock not working. Uh, sometimes it's just a matter of the cylinder being jammed in here or from rust and as you know it's exposed to all the elements, wind, water, rain, dirt and uh, a lot of the times uh, your issue could be the fact that uh, this needs a little lubing. But at this moment right now I'm going to go ahead and, and demonstrate this and show you what it is. Uh, so we put the handlebars in place and we go to lock our bike up or lock the front forks down or steering controls down and you can't turn the key any further. Uh, it won't go into the locking position in order for you to release the key out of the ignition. So um, like I said, could be one of two things. Um, if you are experiencing this issue, one, it could be the fact that this is all gummed up and dirty and you need to clean it out. Now, before I go any further, I want to make note to a really good product that I used to put in here. Now, most people will put in typical WD-40, uh, PB blaster, or what have you, and these are wet lubricants that uh, go in here, and then they eventually drip out through the bottom. They give you all kinds of dirt and debris up here, or because the oil sits on here, the lubricant sits on here, it collects a lot of dirt and uh, your ignition system is likely to get all dirty and gummed up. Now I went ahead and cleaned mine uh, because in the past I have been using those products but uh, for you guys I want to show you this product if you want to go ahead and, and uh, lube this up. Okay guys Super Lube is a really good product it's not uh, really well known but it is a great product it's a, it's a dry film a dry film lubricant and it has a um, a lot of good uh, uses. I mean, the applications, if we go ahead and read that, it's uh, for industrial slide uh, glides, door locks, uh, cylinder locks, chains, uh, cable swivels, tools, mold release, dry, or I'm sorry, door or door or trunk hinges, electronic components, zippers, inline skates, and bicycles, exercise equipment. And uh, like I said, it goes on, it goes on dry and there's no greasy or runny uh, aftermath to deal with. So um, highly recommend this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the descriptions below. I've been using it for about over a year now and it's, I think it's, it's a really, really good product. And uh, if you wanna go ahead and do things like this, lube up things like this where you don't want uh, the lubricant to uh, drip out or run all over the place, this is the product to get, okay? All right guys, so let's talk a little bit how the lock actually works. When you turn the key or engage the lock to the, to the locking position of the bars, there's actually a little pin down here that slides out and into the frame of the bike. Now if this pin is misaligned, it will not fall into the hole. Now let me go ahead and put a light on there, maybe I can possibly show you better, but I'll show you a better angle in a minute. But if you can see at this point right here, there is a hole here and the pin when you turn the key slides out of the ignition system and into that guide hole which locks the handlebars now this guide hole only you're only able to engage the hole when the bar is at the full left position now i'm gonna go ahead and move to the front of the bike i went ahead and removed the um, the windscreen here so that we can get a better view of what it is I'm actually talking about. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this light a little bit. Now, looking down here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the bars back so you can actually see the hole that I'm speaking about. Now, there's that hole right there that that guide pin slides out and slides into here. Now, if you are misaligned, that guide pin is going to either rest uh, above it, catching the very tip of it, not allowing it to slide in. 
or not allowing it to slide in easily. So if you're having an issue where you're turning this key and it's hard to engage the lock position, just like I am here, it won't happen. Then your next issue, if not being that it's all jammed up in here, is going to be that you have to realign the top uh, triple clamp uh, mount here. And what we're gonna need to do today is go ahead and we're gonna loosen uh, this bolt or this nut and these two bolts so that we can bring this down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a close up view of just how bad I am out of alignment here. Hang tight. All right guys, so I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but uh, we're looking down here and we're looking at the slide cylinder. You can just barely see it poking off. I keep the camera still enough. But at the position I'm at, I'm not in full alignment with the, with the guide hole that sits down here. But the part that we're looking at, it pops out right about here. And it's a pretty big uh, pin that slides into that hole. So let me see if I can wiggle it back and forth and you can kind of catch it. Now it's going to be really hard to see. There it is. So we're looking at this clear piece of not so dirty metal sliding in and out. And that's got to go into this hole. Now the top half of this pin is barely touching the top half of the frame. So it's not fully going into that hole right there. Now we got to make it, we got to lower this down in order for that pin to slide into that hole smoothly. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so going in order of operation, we're first gonna go ahead and, and crack this nut, loosening the triple clamp up on top. The next part of the procedure is we're gonna go ahead and loosen both sides for the grips. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this and on both sides. And this is gonna allow this to move up and down. Now, we're just gonna loosen them. We're not gonna take it off. And then once we got everything loose, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this back down to spec. And hopefully that will bring this back down into aligning the guide hole.
All right, guys, so you see me just tighten up everything. Uh, just for FYI, the uh, center nut there is uh, 65 uh, pounds of torque uh, using your torque wrench. And um, I'll go ahead and list, I can't remember at the moment right now, but I'll list the torques in the descriptions as well uh, for the um, triple clamp that grabs onto the fork <coughs> and uh, the uh, pounds that you need for the, uh, the bars, the bar ends. But let's go ahead and put the key in. Let's see if we uh, actually fix the issue. So, you saw me go ahead and spray uh, the dry lube in there for good measure. I haven't done it in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it now while I take this opportunity to do it. So we're going ahead and spin the bars all the way to the left side. And let's see what type of smooth, if any, uh, transaction we have here. And there we go. Problem solved. So if you're experiencing an issue where it's kind of hard to turn the key into the lock position, uh, chances are you're going to go ahead and uh, need to either loosen this bolt or, or and adjust the triple clamp level for this because as you know this is all fixed to this part right here. So by lowering it down we put the pin back in line with that hole. As always guys I'm the chemist. I hope you liked this DIY. I hope it helped you out. Go ahead and hit the like for me. That helps me out greatly. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I got tons of videos that help you fix your bikes. It doesn't just apply to Jigsers uh, as I have here. It applies to a lot of things. Um, as you know, mechanics go further in the aspect of repairs than just motorcycles and cars. So stay tuned for the next video. As always, I'll see you next problem.